With all that, I think you should have a solid understanding why objects are important, why they aren't difficult at all, how you can create objects, how prototypes are important when it comes to inheritance or kind of fallback places where certain methods or fields could be, how constructor functions make it easy for you to create your own objects of predefined blueprints, how you can use different functions or methods or things like this for in loop here to work with your objects, and how the this keyword can be tricky but can be handled with bind or call or apply. This has been a rather long module, but objects are of course a key part of JavaScript and I'm very happy that we're now at the point that the basics as well as objects, as well as arrays, as well as types and scopes are all set and hopefully you feel comfortable with those concepts. If not, as always, check out the cheat sheets attached to the last lectures. There you'll find more descriptions as well as links leading to resources, which may allow you to get a bit deeper into the different concepts explained here. I'm looking forward to the next module where we will have a look at errors and how we can debug them before we then dive deeper into functions and what we can do with them in JavaScript. See you there. Bye.